Okay, this is part 2 of my Fallout 4 overhaul series and it's about overhauling the user interface in Fallout 4 to make it more modern and generally better. First, we have 3 mods that work really well together. The Stalker HUD, the Fall UI HUD and nameplates, floating health bars. The Stalker HUD is simply a very good HUD based on the Stalker games. It's also the HUD you usually see me using in my videos. The Fall UI HUD is a mod that allows you to change the in-game HUD as you wish. But more importantly, it's the mod required for the Stalker HUD, as this one is a preset of the Fall UI HUD mod. And the nameplates, floating health bar mods, is pretty self-explanatory. It's a mod that adds HP bars on top of our enemies, as well as their names. Next, we have two other mods that go hand in hand, and they are Fall UI Sleep and Wait and Baka Wait Anywhere. This combination of mods will enhance your Sleep and Wait interface, giving you more options while also allowing you to wait anywhere whenever you wish. You no longer need to sit or sleep in order to skip time. Moving on, let's talk about Extended Dialogue Interface, a game changer. Kid wouldn't shut up the whole time. No more vague dialogues or accidental conversation exits. This mod lets you see exactly what your character will say and conveniently highlights the dialogue options that will end your conversation. And next, we have the Fallout 4 Wheel Menu, which adds a useful wheel menu that slows down time as you select what you want to equip or use. With this wheel menu, you can switch weapons, take camps, eat, drink, and use the stealth boy. It's very useful and it will make it so you don't have to open your damn pit boy whenever you need to use an item in your inventory. And the last user interface mod is the Death UI. This quality of life mod revamps your interface, making trading with NPCs a breeze and managing your inventory much better and easier. And that's it for the user interface mods that best overhaul your Fallout 4. Tell me in the comments what you think about these mods. In my next part, I will be talking about overhauling the gameplay in Fallout 4, so subscribe to make sure you won't miss it. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.